Hey guys, in this video we'll be taking a look at how to migrate from Windows XP to Windows 7. Now you can actually migrate from Windows XP to Windows 7 or Windows Vista to Windows 7 or Windows 7 to Windows 7. Now what we're going to be doing here is using a free piece of software that Microsoft has actually developed to migrate from Windows XP to Windows 7. Now you've got to bear in mind that Windows XP never had that actual migration tool built into it when it was first designed so they've actually brought a tool out to actually migrate it across. Now Windows 7 has got this tool built into it now so we can use this tool to actually use it to migrate Windows XP. Now this video is for you Stan so I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, so here we go. So the first thing we need to do is get the actual tool installed on our system. Now you need to come to a website like, website like this. This is called Windows Easy Transfer for Windows XP. Now basically if you don't know where this is I will put the link in the description for you so you can download it. You need to pick your version that you want. Okay, Windows XP 64 bit or the actual 86 which is 32 bit. So we're going to be using the 32 bit version. I'm just going to quickly install this quick and bring that down there and install that for you. It's pretty painless. Now you can use data cables to do this, transfer the data across, or you can actually use an external hard drive or USB thumb drive to actually do that, which we'll be using. You actually make the image, put it onto there, and then transfer it across to the Windows X, uh, Windows 7 and run it from there. You'll see a little bit later further in the video. So now we've downloaded that we can do away with this. So we'll shut that down. We need to come to the actual uh, program. Now if you look down in your programs there's not much here. You'll probably have a lot more in yours because this is a fresh install but I just wanted to show you. So Windows Easy Transfer. We need to click on that and this is the sort of window we're going to be uh, greeted with. So once we do that we go next and this is the part where we get our selection. Okay, now this is the the recommended uh, way to do it. Now you can get these cables for around about 10 quid, 12 quid in English money. Don't know what that is in US dollars, but uh, pretty much I should imagine around 15, 16 dollars or something like that. Okay, they vary in prices in, uh, and, and makes a model. So just have a little look around. Okay, you can do it over a network as well if you've got a network uh, cable and you want to join the two computers on the network or you can actually use this method and this is the method we're going to be using so I'm going to click that we can use a CD flash drive or external hard drive we're going to be using a flash drive uh, sorry external hard drive and I'm just going to actually save it to here but when you do it you'll be doing it to uh, whatever version you do now you can actually set up a, a password at this stage if you want it to, it's recommended but uh, I'm not going to bother just for this video but if you did you could just call it test if you want okay we'll do it for this video, might as well do it just to dot all the i's and cross all the t's and uh, basically we're going to leave that as it is there and go next okay we're going to do all user accounts and files and settings, that's what the one I want to do or you can come to advanced options if you come to advanced options it'll just give you this sort of window here, a bit like a little tree there and you can actually put the ticks in what you want. So I'm just going to actually click next here and let this do its thing. It's pretty painless. Okay, so as you can see that's been pretty quick and that's because there isn't a lot of files on this system but if you add a lot of files it might take a little bit longer. Okay, so bear that in mind. So I'm going to click close. Now what we need to do is just check out where the actual uh, files are. So they're in our C drive and there you see from our old computer. So I would need to put this file onto my actual uh, pen drive now or external R drive or CD or whatever it may be. Now if you are doing the data transfer cable you wouldn't have to worry about that. You could just transfer it straight across and it would install that way. Okay. So let's get uh, Windows 7 fired up and we're going to actually uh, install that onto there, okay? Okay, so here we are in Windows 7 now and uh, what we've got is I've taken the uh, folder that had the actual image 
from Windows XP. Now yours will be a lot bigger than this but I managed to get the image onto the actual in the folder and onto my uh, external hard drive and I've now plugged it into my Windows 7 machine and what I want to do is I want to come onto the uh, all border start button here and I want to type in easy down here like so and basically I need to click on here Windows Easy Transfer now I don't have to download any software because this is pre-installed on Windows 7 okay so we need to just click on this and it gives us this little box here and here it will say basically you can transfer user accounts documents music pictures emails internet favorites videos and much more okay so what we need to do here is go next and this is the same sort of scenario it gives us the three options that we've got basically the cable transfer or the network and then the external hard drive or USB flash drive okay so I'm going to be clicking on this bottom one now this is where it says which computer are you using right now this is the new computer now say you've got one computer you would obviously click on this one here okay so we're going to click on this one now and it will say uh, the next thing is how Windows transfers already saved file blah 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 we're gonna say yes it has because we know it has saved our file because we've got it here on our desktop but we could also have it on a CD USB or external hard drive or whatever may be okay so we're gonna click yes here it gives us this little box here now and then from here we can actually um, pick the location where it is now if I come on this location here you can see it's on my desktop and this is the actual file here we click on that click open and remember the password that we put in there okay we need to put a password in because we did password it click next and it now gives us the actual size and data files that we've backed up okay now remember that last account was called owner on the uh, earlier on that's because obviously it was an empty uh, box anyway but yours will have a lot more data on there probably hundreds or maybe gigabytes of stuff okay that it's going to transfer across this has got very little as I said because it was a clean box and I did that for quickness so let's have a little uh, transfer here now you can have a look at the uh, advanced options if you like and this will just give you basically uh, map drives and so on like that and uh, as you can see their user account and stuff like this okay I'm not gonna bother with that we're just gonna go straight into transfer this will now start to transfer the data across and it will create a name this will take a bit of time okay it's now doing its job and you'll probably see it sort of log out a little bit just so it can actually make some changes and it will log back in like so now yours will probably take a little bit longer than this but bearing in mind uh, this is only a small transfer across and it's pretty pretty simple now you can see here what has been transferred if you wanted to so we're going to do that and it will show you 31 documents yours will be much more than that if you've got loads of programs and loads of documents so you can actually look at the programs as you can see there's nothing in there hardly but if you wanted to look at yours you'll probably have a lot more okay so we can close this off now and it wants to restart okay so I'm going to restart that and then I'll see you back on the desktop okay that's restarted now and that's pretty much it as you can see we'll have all our files here that we wanted and if I wanted to do a report I could actually just type down the bottom here easy and this will bring up our Windows easy transfer reports click on this and this will open this up just say yes to this and this will give us our reports now obviously we've uh, just looked at these but that's how you can get back your reports and have a look at what's actually been transferred okay and it's all gone in just fine okay so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember just like standard uh, hit the subscribe button show your support and also head over to the forum the link is down below right now and uh, you can nominate videos on there just like standard and uh, I'll do my best to make those videos for you also we have a ventrilo chat room there if you fancy uh, jumping on there and have a little ch uh, talking about chat or tech chat or anything like that just head over there and uh, sign up and it's uh, free to get on there okay so my name is Brian thanks a lot
Bye for now.